I'm Matt Betch and I'll be talking about water displacement. Water displacement is a way to measure the volume of an irregular shaped object or a regular shaped object. We have three objects here, an eraser, a fish, and a key, and we're going to be finding the volume. So the water is at 70 right now, and we put the eraser in, and you can see it only went up one, so that means it's the volume is one milliliter. Then when we put the fish in, it's at 71. So when we put that one in, it went up two. So that we then we know that the fish volume is two milliliters. Then with the key, it went up like half a milliliter. So then the volume is half a milliliter. What's your name? Uh, my name is Seth Neville, and I'll be talking about the history of water displacement. So, who found water displacement and how? Uh, Archimedes, who was taking a nice bath and filled it all the way to the top of that bath. Um, when he got when he got in the bath, um, the water o completely overflowed, and that's how he really discovered water displacement. Hello, I'm Calvin Rice Lothauer, and I will be teaching you some tips and tricks about water displacement. Now, in front of me, I have three different graduated cylinders. I have a small, medium, and large size graduated cylinder. These are each for their uh, respective uh, sizes for objects to measure the volume of. If I wanted to measure the volume of this key here, I would use the smallest graduated cylinder that would, the key would fit inside because smallest graduated cylinders will give me the most precise readings. For something larger, like this fish or the eraser, I will use maybe a medium or larger size graduated, graduated cylinder. Now, the second tip is to get your water for the water displacement on a number like 10, 20, 30, 50, or 60, or something like that, where you can easily measure if it went up. Because sometimes, if it's on an odd number, like 51, you uh, might not remember that. And it's just easier if it's on a number like 50, so you can measure it precisely and not have any errors or mistakes in your judgment.